So let's look into some of the new units and how effective they can be in Siege in a City. So here we go, I've got my siege tower and my battering ram right along the coast and we're gonna just jump right into this, the siege of Leeds. So I, I think that at this point, you know, I'm still trying to figure out the uh, the whole siege weapon thing. So this is how the siege weapon weapons work. Like I said, they are, they kind of act as like kind of civilian units in a sense. Um, and they're going to grant bonuses for surrounding units. So whether that be, actually, you know what? I don't know if it's melee attacks only. I'm not sure if they grant bonuses. And unfortunately, like I said, the tooltip will not be working. Because I'm, I'm assuming they don't want to give away those values just yet. Uh, it was working earlier on in the series with some of the lower tier units, uh, but not with uh, these kind of mid-tier stuff. So uh, we, we we're still kind of thinking if uh, we're still trying to figure out if you're going to get a uh, also like an archer bonus, things like that, range bonus or, bonus, or if it will be just melee only. Uh, okay, so I'm trying to attack some of these this, these chariot archers. They're also going to have to deal with a barbarian scout, so hopefully that distracts them a little bit. I'm assuming that it should a little bit. Um, it turns out that my own heavy chariot ended up being, I think, pretty useful. Melee attack of 28 uh, compared to my other melee units. I mean, warrior starts off at 20. I think the spearman was like at 26. We'll actually be able to confirm that very soon here. But I was, again, disappointed by the fact that I couldn't figure out if we were going to see uh, penalties from horses for attacking cities. Those are huge, small details. Huge, small details that will really affect the game quite a bit. Um, I also didn't mention this is standard difficulty. There is no, uh, There was no other difficulty level to choose from. And I don't think I'd probably choose anything anyways. Because uh, it's not obviously, if, if standard is still getting balanced, deity and, uh, you know, things like that is definitely not going to be there. Definitely not. Uh, again, the Japanese. Watch the Japanese. What are the Japanese doing? See, look at that. Okay, so that notification right there showed me, I think, a new gossip tip from somebody, whether that be England, China, or Japan. That went way too fast. Way too fast. I, I'm, I'm assuming that that's not, because I've seen video footage of that gossip, um, that that gossip notification staying on the screen for a lot longer i'm assuming this was just a part of this build One man's magic is another man's engineering this i'm assuming uh, was a bug it is heartening to see another just as uh, pious as myself she sh she shouldn't be saying that right because i'm at war with her probably not probably not but we're both you know we are both generating quite a bit of faith i believe that she gets up a uh, a religion and here i go approaching with my battering ram. So here we are uh, trying to set up I, again that extra movement too. Really helpful. Um, that ended up really helping me. Figured I was going to lose this archer but you know I, I kind of assumed that I was going to lose units no matter what. Uh, it Yeah there was really nothing that I could do about that. So yeah Spearman confirmed for 25 combat strength. I, right now, right now values will change. Values will, will definitely change. Um, so the heavy chariot seems like it'd be worth it since it has extra combat strength and it can move three tiles away. So theoretically, it does it does seem pretty useful uh, at the moment. At the moment, commercial hub pretty useful for um, some of those amenities. Uh, again, you know my grasp of the district system was not the best by the end of the campaign. I, I really, uh, oh, Shrine was offering two, two faith, that's interesting. Um, my grasp of, of the, uh, yeah, the districts and stuff like that, I, I need to get better. And, and part of the problem was, because there's this point in the campaign where I was like, why don't I have any buildings to build? And that's because you need to start up a damn district, Drew, duh. Um, part of it is that I was really on the fence about when to start building districts and what districts to prioritize. I'd imagine the science di district to be probably high priority. That's why that was the first thing I built. But there's also an entertainment district. Um, there's a, like an economic district. There's a whole bunch. There's 12 of them. I think there's 12 districts. Or was there 13? Some of them are for like special things like for a science victory. You have like the spaceship factory uh, district. Oh man, reinforcements are coming. When I saw this, I was like, oh crap. That is not good. My archers luckily survived that bombardment. 
and and we're fighting barbarians still. So, uh, like I said, we only found a few. Uh, we only ended up finding Japan, China, and England. I'm assuming that there was some more stuff to the northeast that I just wasn't able to ever get. I believe isn't map. Ooh, I'm not entirely sure about that because I I didn't jump into diplomacy too much, but I had thought I heard map sharing was back. I thought I might have heard that, but I'm I'm not sure. And that could be something. Maybe we'll find, figure that out here. But I didn't look at that option. Volley or garrison. Combat when occupying a district. Okay, so good. You get that instant. See that 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 promotion really helped us because that was a, that was an archer unit that was probably going to be destroyed by the city bombardment next turn. I got a promotion, 50 extra health. That was cool. So I'm gonna bring in a melee unit, uh, both a, a melee uh, spearman and a melee uh, warrior. Let's watch as this guy attacks. Oh, you know what? There was something. Okay, you know what? I need to look at that. Heavy chariot, 26 damage attack to the enemy city stage. Okay, so hold on. There was something on the other side. The the animation for the uh, the chariot archer is pretty cool. I like the I like that animation. Okay, so so here we go. Two oh six. It just sucks because there's this was such a long recording, obviously. Oh, okay, and this is when I ask my question. Well, I'll let you guys figure that. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, because you can stop the video on YouTube. It'd be a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, so I, I'm, I'm at, then I start asking like, dude, what what is going on here? So yeah, we, we you gotta you gotta so escorting these would obviously be a pretty smart decision. Um, you're gonna want to escort your siege weapons, and unfortunately, again, oh you know I might get the opportunity to check. Yeah, I will get the opportunity to check in the future. Okay, so here we go. I don't think I ended up losing any units. Things are going good. This uh, so this is me examining this river, and uh, I was trying to figure out you know I knew that river was gonna be tough. You still are gonna get the penalty. Even with a siege weapon nearby for attacking across the river. So, this stuff is uh, it's just something to, to take note of. I was trying to figure out how I was going to like navigate around, navigate around that river and attack London. Because Leeds was pretty much confirmed it was dead. And I have to go to the next turn. Okay. Yeah, so Leeds is mine. That's a five-population city again. Um, well, we, we'll be able to kind of look over the city options. There is a raise option, but, you know, without happiness, you can really conquer a lot. And I'm trying to think. I mean, again, amenities is going to slow you down a little bit, but you can take down a few barbarians if you're, you know, strong enough. You could you can handle a few barbarians. That wouldn't be, I think, too difficult at all. Okay. So this city is ours. And I, I'm noticing that I'm having amenity uh, amenity problems, I think, with maybe New Orleans. I'm not sure if that is what that uh, notification is telling me. Here's continents. So here's, uh, this is some things that, this is some something that I, you know, again, this lens is not going to be too cool. But uh, the cool thing is you get to name the continent. Now, right now... This continent is named America, and that's just by coincidence. But uh, there is a randomly generated name for every continent uh, in the map. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm going to go forward a little bit, because I know that I'm talking to somebody right now. Clearly. All right. I'm also trying to figure out how I can, how I can pillage this trader. Uh, the problem is the scout is in the way, and I kind of just want to take the city itself. So I'm thinking, uh, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know if I want to. Archer's tent seemed to do quite a bit of damage. I was actually pretty surprised. Actually, no. Oh, nope, we aren't seeing it. Never mind. I thought there was a little penalty. I thought there was something on this side, but yeah, no, we, we don't see anything. 
Well, that's too bad. Also, this is a heavy chariot. It's not a regular horseman. It's not like a knight. Or if that makes a difference. But the heavy chariots are melee units. And the city is ours. And we don't have to worry about amenities. I, I was actually dealing with amenity problems for most of the game, too. I remember that notification. I remember that notification, like, being up from this point on for quite a long time, you know, depending on the city and stuff like that. It never ended up being that big of a deal. Again, that could change, but I like it. Uh, I, I really like it. I think that the, they're probably going to have to do some sort of balancing in terms of t playing tall. I, I don't think that... I really don't think that playing tall is going to be super useful on the initial release of Civ 6. Um, which is okay, because... Everyone wants to play wide in the beginning, and I'm hoping we'll get, you know, patches, DLC, uh, whatever you may want, uh, to, to, to have the ability to play tall. But because you're also unstacking the cities, I'm wondering how difficult it would be to play tall. Because you need all this space. I mean, first of all, you're going to need to buy a lot of tiles or have some... There, there are multiple ways. I know there's a few ways where you can have your borders grow a little bit quicker. Those are going to be really important choices to make in the future if you are going to play tall because... You don't want to be buying every single tile. You want your borders to naturally grow, giving you more space to occupy. Yeah, so I don't see why you'd want to raise a city at this point, unless it's for, like, strategical purposes, military purposes, things like that. I'm about to get my fifth uh, envoy with Levente. Leventa? Levente. Yeah, Leventa. And I'm also uh, researching drama and poetry and currency. We're going to get currency in two turns. So now I'm trying to think, now for attacking London. I'd like to not attack across the river. That is, is kind of what I was hoping for. I don't like attacking across the river. Trade post created. Let's, uh, let's, let's push forward a little bit more. And there's a barbarian encampment. That's right. So Japan was trying to take that out for me, which would have been obviously pretty useful. England's, we gave England enough time, it looks like, to rebuild somewhat. And then there is the shot from the boats just off the coast. Which I, I was very lucky. I didn't think about that. I almost lost my chariot archer because of that reason. Uh, so there is a wonder. I noticed that they had a wonder. Which is so much cooler now. The fact that you don't have to just zoom in way on the city. Look... You know, squint your eyes and figure out if, if there is a... If they're building a wonder next to the capital, or whatever it may be. You can actually physically see it on the on the land, in the land. I mean, that's that's awesome. So recognizing the, uh... You know, recognizing the symbols and things like that. Recognizing all the graph graphics will be pretty important, I think, for the future. Um, I, I also... I, I'm not 100% about this, but I'm pretty sure you cannot pillage wonders. Uh, wonders are you can move into that tile they're not they don't like they're not impassable terrain um, but you cannot pillage wonders at this time but for this builds I do remember for some reason the the wonder disappearing I asked the developer about that that's not supposed to happen uh, the wonder disappeared and uh, again not not stable branch things like that are gonna happen Never ended up naming my new units because I was just trying to get to as far as possible into the campaign. Trying to grasp as many things as I could. So, but I did consider naming a few units, which I think will be really fun when we get uh, our hands on Civ 6 for the first time. To be able to name you guys in the comment section, name subscribers, name fans would be really awesome. I'd really like to do that. I think it would help, help with the whole history thing. Help with the whole, like vibe of uh of Civ. I think it'll be great. So I need to I'm actually oh did I really? I know at some point I uh I send the trader to Los Angeles because it's like I need internal infrastructure now. Even to even to Leeds or Leds. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure it's Leeds. But even to Leeds now, like I, I definitely need more more infrastructure. Cause right now it's a big mess. I mean, I, I've, this is the second time I've gone to Laventa. Look at that gems resource. Holy crap. 
two yields, two food yield production well, and three golds. Why is that happening? Is that normal for gems? This is why I kind of wanted to keep the, the yield on for a little bit. I'm not noticing it right now during my footage, during my playthrough, but I'm noticing it now. We'll have to check if that is... I mean, gems have traditionally been a pretty useful uh, luxury resource, but that is that is really nice. Yeah, I just think the hand-drawn map looks really cool. Uh, one thing that I do want to mention is... Uh, you know, again, if 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 I want to be critical, maybe overly critical. Like I was a little overly critical about like not really liking the uh, the way the, the I like the the, the hand drawn map, but I don't like the fog of war. Definitely don't want, want like the fog of war, and that's probably not too hard to change. Honestly, just throw some symbols over there. Just don't make it look so plain. I know it's supposed to look like a map, a map that's not hand drawn, but uh, yeah, like throw I don't know some symbols there. Some really great uh, Terra Incognita mods that were made for EU4, which made, you know, that sort of stuff look a lot better. So I'm hoping we see something like that. The other thing that I'm thinking, because I, I don't know if I mentioned this, I have no problem with the uh, with the graphics anymore. I know a lot of people had problems with it. It, it is it has completely grown on to me. And, uh, and it, now, you know, anything else, very minor suggestions. I, I, I personally like the black UI better from Civ 5. You know, Civ 5 has the black bar that comes across most... Is uh, if you really look at Civ 5, a lot of dark colors in the UI. I mean, um, and I, to be honest, I kind of wish they went back to that. You know, there's a lot of blue. There's a blue up in the in the top bar. There's blue down here. You know where the spearman is. Everything is just kind of a lot of blue. And I'm, I kind of wish they would go back to just black. Civ 5 looks sleek. That that UI looks really good. I think, um, but we'll see. Okay, so it looks like I got somebody else. We got a great general. Perfect. Uh, again. I didn't know, I didn't know how to get a, a, a profit, because, yeah, I needed great people. So the Art of War, I could have done a writing with the Great General, that's interesting, I didn't notice that the first time I played. He's got four movement, again, values will not be given, we don't know, like, exactly how much uh, additional strength generals will be giving. Even if they showed us something, I, I would say take it with a grain of salt, though. Like, even if we did see a, a definitive... A definitive number, I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't trust it too much. Yeah, those gem resources look pretty good. But then again, so do the sheep down below. I believe that's sheep. Well, I mean, it's plus production and food. The culture would have been a pretty nice thing to have had, though, from the natural wonder. Anyways, guys, now we're going to go take London. We'll see what happens in the next one. So we've captured our first city in Civ 6. It feels good. It feels really good. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.